everybody welcome back to Karen puzzles and welcome to my new puzzle slash craft studio so this used to be my roommate's room he moved out about a month ago uh, just for his job there was no drama don't worry so instead of looking for a new roommate I decided to use this room as my new studio and I dedicated this entire wall to all of my puzzles so I'm going to go through it shelf by shelf show you every single one of my puzzles you might remember from the beginning of the year I did a video where I uh, just went through my whole collection and got rid of like half my puzzles and you might remember that the shelf I used to be using, which was in my bedroom, was so small, it was constantly overflowing. So now I have two big floor to ceiling bookcases to hold my entire collection, and I'm just so excited for this. <laughs> if you're wondering about the bookshelves themselves, they are the Billy bookcases from Ikea, basically the most basic generic bookshelf you can get. So let's go ahead and take a look and I'll show you every single one of my puzzles. So let's start up here on the top shelf. Uh, we've got the three White Mountain puzzles that I showed in the video that I just made. Uh, the library puzzle that I showed in that video I donated because it's not one that I think I'll return to again. And yes, it does bug me that this box does not match these two boxes. <laughs> Next, we have a few miscellaneous small puzzles. So we have the area where uh, little food things, we have the small White Mountain cereal puzzles, we have this London Underground puzzle that my sister gave me, and we have the Keyway Transparent puzzle. Next, we have two puzzles from Puzzle Michelle Wilson, which are wooden puzzles, and I'm planning to show them in an upcoming video in more uh, in depth. Then we've got these two knock knock puzzles, which I've had forever. These are actually very cool because it is four puzzles in one and they spell out a word. So this one is love and they're shiny and each letter is a separate puzzle. So fun. Next we have the ketchup puzzle, which is a solid color. And yes, I am going to do this soon, but I just don't think it's going to be fun. So to be honest, I've been putting it off. And then we have this puzzle, which my sister gave me for Christmas. And any puzzle that still has the plastic wrap on it is one that I'm probably planning to do in a video at some point. So you might notice that I put some of my less photogenic puzzles up here on the top shelves, the top and the very bottom just because they're not gonna be seen as much on camera. And so these middle shelves, I really tried to style for the camera. So on this shelf, we have this tall puzzle, which is from Ridley's. My sister gave me this one as well. It's all these donuts, super fun. Next, we have the four puzzles from Piecework, which are just so beautifully designed. They look like coffee table books amazing and I just put a little orange fake succulent on top to match. Next we have the jiggy puzzles and the shape of this box kind of mirrors the shape of this box so all the pieces come in a glass tube like this so I just have that next to the box. Here on this top shelf I have just a bunch of random not quite as photogenic puzzles. So we've got a Ravensburger up there, this avocado puzzle from Gibson's that I still have to do, a buffalo puzzle that's very cute. Uh, this is the one pomegranate puzzle that I actually kept from what they sent me. And another Gibson's puzzle. This is the one that they did in the circle. And I was going to do a whole video about that, but I kind of feel like the circle ship has sailed. So if they do a season two, maybe I'll pull this out then. Next, we have a few dollar store puzzles, which are just fun to keep around if you need a really quick puzzle fix. So there are two there, two up here. I'm like on my tippy toes, I can barely reach. <laughs> and then a color Lux puzzle, one of my favorites, this grid of cupcakes, and then two bits and pieces puzzles, which are both very fun. So moving down one, this is my Cloudberries shelf. Cloudberries has always been so generous in sending me so many of their puzzles. So here on the side, I have the big 2000 piece gradient puzzle, which I'm gonna do in a video. 
sometime. That's why it's still in plastic. And then in front, I'm just putting the thousand piece gradient puzzle. And then all of these, um, actually this one I haven't done yet, pixels, because I keep thinking I'm going to like photograph it or do a nice time lapse. And I just haven't gotten around to that yet. But all the rest I have done. And I like these because even though they don't put the picture on the side, um, I know all of these well enough that I know what the pictures look like. So it's nice that the shelf isn't too busy, even though there are a lot of puzzles on there. It's just like a nice visual break from everything else that's going on on this shelf. So over here we have my babies, my pride and joy, my thousand colors gradient collection. So this is the box for the sphere, which is right here. It is one of my most viewed videos. I'm sure most of you watching this have seen that video. And then we've got the color changing puzzle, the original gradient puzzle, the half tone, no, the vibrating colors puzzle and the half tone puzzle. And I have videos about all, all five of these actually, if you wanna watch them. Moving on, we have the waves puzzle, which I did in the clear puzzles video. This is a double-sided puzzle with photographs from Gray Malin, and it's still in plastic because I do wanna do it in a video at some point. And then just a little candle to break up the scene visually. And then this bowl has a lot of my just miscellaneous little puzzle things. So we have this one, which I did in my video about the smallest puzzle I've ever done. This is another puzzle, Michelle Wilson. We have these like stickers from Cloudberries. And we have this puzzle piece, which has been a miss like just a random puzzle piece in my collection for years now. Oh, and this bowl is one that I actually painted for an HGTV video years and years and years ago. Shout out if you remember that and remembered this bowl. So coming down the shelf, we have the two inner piece puzzles, which I did in a video a while back. These boxes are so nicely designed. And then I also have the two Better Co puzzles, which I also showed in a video a while back. And I wanted to keep this shelf a little bit bare because it'll be behind me in like every single video. So I didn't want it to get too crazy and too busy. So I just chose two companies with nice, simple boxes. And I put a little fake succulent there because I have too many and I need to put them somewhere. <laughs> All right, let's move on over to the area wear shelf. And I'm sure this is one that some of you have been wondering about. So these are the area wear gradient puzzles. I already had some of them and then they sent me the entire collection when I did the video about them last year. These are the 500 piece versions and then these are the same gradients, but these are the 100 piece versions. And then this one is also from area wear, but it is a pattern, super fun, one of my favorites. And this one is, uh, this granite, but the piece, I've talked about this on my channel before, but the pieces are very interestingly cut. And I just love these boxes. I love how simple they are. There's literally no branding except on the back. So I just think they look so nice on a shelf. And like, if you know what they are, then you know, but if you don't know what they are, then it just looks like these mysterious colorful boxes. But one thing about these boxes is that they are super glossy. Like you put any light anywhere near these and they are reflecting all of it straight back to you. So I'm still working out exactly how to light the background so that as few of the puzzles are shiny and reflective as possible but I feel like I might not be able to avoid it completely. Moving down, this shelf is super simple. It's literally just these two Ravensburger puzzles, uh, two like colorful rainbow puzzles. When I set up these shelves, I actually had a little extra space, which literally never happens. So I kept some of the shelves very simple, figuring that as I get sent more puzzles in the future, I will rearrange some things and probably fill these up a little bit more. But for now, I like, how simple it is that these are like really on display here. All right, we're getting close to the floor here. So let's move back down to this shelf. Down here, I've got the two puzzles that YouTube sent me that I showed in my last haul. I actually still haven't even done this ampersand puzzle. I need to get to that one of these days. Next to that, we have these two penguin puzzles and then the Pop Chart Lab puzzle on the bottom. Uh, this one uses the Pop Chart Lab uh, poster 
And then this was the Pop Chart Lab puzzle that they released years ago, which is no longer being sold. I actually love the design of these boxes so much. I think this side panel is really well designed, so I want to try to get more from this series and have them all lined up nicely. And then over here we have a handful of puzzles that are all about the same size. This is the uh, Buffalo gradient puzzle that I showed in a video. Then we have the Seiko ice cream gradient puzzle that I did a while back. Uh, this is the Seiko donuts puzzle, which is one of my favorites. And then this is a 300 piece emoji puzzle, which is fun just for like, if I just need a really quick, easy puzzle to do. All right, so we've made it to the floor on this side. So down here we have the 5,000 colors uh, gradient puzzle box. And I had to put this one on its side because it is still in this puzzle, or because it is still in this box, but in sections. So I didn't want to turn it over and have all the sections falling all over the place. After that is a vintage Springbok puzzle, which somebody sent to my PO box a while back, but I closed that P.O. box, so please don't try to send me any more puzzles. And then this I actually just got, and here's a little exciting preview for you. It's a Murder, She Wrote puzzle. It is a mystery puzzle with Angela Lansbury there on the front. So I'm going to be trying to solve the murder in an upcoming video. I'm very excited to dig into that. I just bought this off of eBay. And speaking of eBay, next we have the Springbok uh, Pollock puzzle, which I just did in a video. So that also lives down here. Next we have all of the Puzzle Impossible clear puzzles. And I just stuck them all into this bag. I feel like there has to be a nicer way to store these, but for now, they'll just live down here on the floor where no one on camera will ever see them, except for in this video right now. Next are the uh, human anatomy puzzles, which I showed in my last haul video. And as I said then, I'm waiting for the other four in this series to come out so that I can do the entire human body, and then I will put them together in a video. So for now, I just had done that one and these other two are still in the plastic. And then we've got one solitary Eboo puzzle because I filled up all of the Eboo puzzles over on this shelf, which I'll get to in a minute. And uh, one, I actually have one of these lent out to one of my friends. So once he gets that back to me, I'll just push all of these over and that'll slot in right here. So moving on to this shelf over here, this is my bits and pieces slash Ravensburger shelf. So I love that all of the bits and pieces puzzles, even if they're different piece counts, the boxes are all the exact same size. They look so nice lined up on a shelf. Bits and Pieces does a lot of Christmas puzzles. So I have a lot of those and most of these I've already done. Um, I feel like after this holiday season, once I do all of them again, I'll probably be donating a bunch of these. And I have just this 300 piece puzzle still in the plastic, just in case I need an example puzzle for a video. I figure it's just good to have a few of these lying around for that so that it's not getting too repetitive where I'm showcasing the exact same puzzles video after video, you know? Over here, then we have these Ravensburger puzzles, which they sent me when they released these for Target. They're in smaller boxes than the typical Ravensburger puzzles. So I just have the three of those all stacked up. And actually this one should be facing that way so that the design is the same all the way down. So we have made it to the very last shelf. This is my Eboo shelf and Eboo have always been so generous in sending me puzzles. So I, you know, have so many. I feel kind of bad that they're all the way here on the bottom, but the boxes are just so busy that I feel like if this was behind me in videos, it would just be a little distracting. So these are some of their older puzzles. The design is a little different from the newer ones and the size of the box is a little bit bigger. And I guess this was like an in-between puzzle because it's the size of these, but it has a that's the same design as these smaller ones, except for the font. And then over here, I just have one from them that's in a rectangle box instead of a square box. So she lives right here. And that's my entire puzzle collection as it currently stands. I know that it's a lot of puzzles, but it's actually not quite as many as you might think because I really only keep my favorites or puzzles that I think I'm gonna do again. If I have a puzzle that I've already featured in a video or I just have already done once and I don't think I'm gonna return to, it's not doing anyone any use 
locked up in my apartment, so I try to donate puzzles when I'm done with them. Also, if I let every company that wanted to send me puzzles send me puzzles, like these shelves would be overflowing in two seconds. So I try to donate when I can and I try to leave some empty spaces here on the shelves so that as new puzzles come in, I have a space for them. Up on top, I have my Cricut die cutting machine and also a few storage boxes, but those could move if I do get a bunch of new puzzles and I wanna use that top shelf for puzzles as well. There's plenty of room for new puzzles now, but I'm just so happy with how these shelves look. I think they came out so well. And yeah, get ready for more puzzle videos in the future. So I hope you enjoyed that little tour through my new puzzle shelves. I feel like this is like a new day for this channel. So if you wanna see what the rest of the room looks like, I have a lot of craft supplies in here as well because I also make craft videos for HGTV Handmade. So over on that channel, I am posting a tour of all of my craft supplies. So if you wanna see the rest of the room, uh, I don't think that video is out yet when I'm posting this, but I'll link it down below and I'll post about it on Instagram once it's up. So I'd love to know in a comment, uh, do we have any of the same puzzles or what puzzle that you saw would you most wanna do? All right, your code word for if you watched until the end of this video is going to be collection. Thank you for watching, happy puzzling, and I'll see you all next time.